Welcome to Lecture Online. Now we're going to do the same problem we did in the previous video, but instead of integrating over A, we're going to integrate over B, and hopefully we'll get the exact same answer. Again, we have a, a, an exact differential equation of the first order. This is variable y, and we have y squared dx plus 2xy dy equals 0. And so this is the general format of exact differentials of the first order. And then if we have a general solution called u, that means that du, the differential of the general solution, should equal the equation, and that would be the general format of the equation. Notice that it's equal to zero, so therefore if du is equal to zero, that means u must be equal to a constant. So to find u, what we're going to do is we're going to take u is equal to the integral, and we're going to integrate the second portion of the equation we're going to integrate over b times dy plus a constant of integration now when we integrate over b dy then we know that x must be a constant and if x is a constant then the constant of integration can be a function of x as x is a constant so we know the, the constant of integration is going to be some function of x so we write as l of x so now realizing that b is the second term in the equation 2xy, we then say that u, the general equation, or the general solution, is going to be the integral of 2xy dy plus the constant of integration, which in itself is going to be a function of x, remembering that x is a constant. So let's go ahead and integrate this. So since x is a constant, 2x will be a constant, so we integrate over y. So that means that u is equal to 2xy squared, add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, plus a constant of integration, which must be some sort of function of x. Right? Notice that the 2's cancel out, and we can write that u is therefore equal to x, y squared, plus some function of x. All right, now that we've done that, what we then also realize is that if we take the partial of u with respect to x, right here, partial of u with respect to x, that should equal a, and since a is equal to y squared, we could then use that to solve for the unknown function right here. So we can say that a is equal to y squared, which by definition is equal to the partial of the general solution u with respect to x. And so of course, if y squared is equal to this and u is equal to this, if we take the partial of this with respect to x, we can set it equal to y squared and solve for the unknown function l of x. So this is going to be the partial with respect of x of u, and u right here is x y squared plus the unknown function of x, like that. And so when we take the partial of this with respect to x, notice in this case, y is going to be a constant, so this simply becomes uh, the, the differential of this, so this is equal to simply y squared plus the partial with respect to x of the unknown function l of x. Since we don't know what the function is, we can't find the derivative. But now notice that we have y squared is equal to y squared plus this. So let's write it like this. y squared is equal to y squared plus the partial of the function L of x. Like so, with respect to x, and notice we have y squared equals y squared. That cancels out, which means we can then conclude that the partial with respect to x of L of x must therefore equal to zero. And if the derivative is equal to zero, that means the function itself must be a constant, which means that L of x must therefore equal a constant. Let's call it C sub 1. And then we come back over here. We can say, well, since L of x is equal to a constant, we can plug that back in the solution here. So we can say that u is equal to xy squared plus L of x, which is now determined to be a constant. And in addition to that, realize that since du is equal to zero, and u must therefore be equal to a constant, we can replace u by the constant in this equation. So we can write c2 is equal to xy squared plus c1. Now we have two constants here. We can combine them into a single constant. So therefore, we can write that xy squared equals a constant. And that is therefore the general solution to our original differential equation. Now, if you take a peek at the previous video, you will find that we got the exact same solution. But in the previous video, we integrated over A. Here, we integrate over B. And you can see that it doesn't matter which way you go. Since it's an exact differential equation, you can solve it using either technique. And therefore, 
integrating over A or integrating over B will get you the exact same final solution. And that's how it's done.